All political roads now lead north. The party leaders are converging on the region where, in the coming hours, British history will be made. Good to see you. Good to see you. The traditional wooing goes on, but for the first time ever, voters will get to judge these men on their head-to-head -head performances. There's only an hour and a half to get it right tomorrow. No pressure then, guys. Not nervous. Nothing will ever be the perfection you want, want it to be, but, I, but I'm determined to, to get my message across. It's the first time any Prime Minister has, uh, has offered to do this. I can't pretend I'm not nervous. My, my worry is this, that having done a bit of practice and a bit of thinking about it, is I hope the public won't feel shortchanged. It looks like we might only get through eight questions in 90 minutes. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, no, it's a big, um, it's like one big job interview. In fact, the biggest job interview you could possibly imagine. Manchester is gearing up for the political and media onslaught, playing host to the first televised debate, which the leaders will be hoping pumps energy into the campaign. New polls show voters are unimpressed with the race so far and are sceptical about manifesto promises. So the frontrunners will be delighted to learn that Mancunians relish the battle between blue and red. The trouble is, it's actually the clash between City and United on Saturday which is stirring passions here. The candidates dream about generating the excitement the Manchester derby does. Voter apathy is now a real concern in a political match looking tighter by the day. Could the new spectator sport do the trick? I watch it, but uh, I think there probably could be a better way of getting answers. I think it's a very American way to do it, isn't it, really? But we're not used to doing that over, you know, over in Britain. A lot of it's like behind closed doors and, you know, tit for tat behind it, all that we don't see. But um, I don't know. I think, I think it, that'll be, it'll be debatable. It'll be interesting anyway, I, I, I would say, to actually watch that. <laughs> I've probably not got that much interest in it. Um, I won't be sort of making a date soon in front of the TV for it, but I'll probably catch up on it in the papers the next day, yeah. I think it will be kind of a one-stop shop to see what's going on. The TV stars in waiting will have plenty to occupy their minds this evening, preparing for the unknown questions, the uncharted territory, and preparing for the unforgiving medium that is TV. It's not just what you say, it's how you look. Gentlemen, an early night might be in order. Michelle Clifford, Sky News, Manchester.